Hello. This is the third in a series of videos about our Ether management platform. In this video, we'll show you how to centrally and remotely install and configure the protection on workstations and servers, regardless of their location, inside or outside the corporate network. The Ether agent installation process is launched from the Add Computers button that we can find on the Computers tab. A window will be displayed to choose the appropriate operating system. Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android. All versions of the protection are 100% developed by Panda Security, enabling us to provide maximum security across all platforms with Panda Security's own real-time protection, engine, and signatures. There are three ways of installing the agent. First, we can email the installer to those users we want to protect. Second, we can download the installer and distribute it with our Panda distribution tool or via Active Directory. And third, using the Computer Discovery and Remote Installation option by following these steps. First, we designate a Discovery computer by going to Settings, Network Settings, Discovery. For each Discovery computer, we can configure whether to automatically run a Discovery task every day or to limit the scope of Discovery tasks. Second, we check the Protection Status widget, which will display in a few minutes the number of unmanaged computers found. And finally, we can install the protection remotely from the list of unmanaged computers by entering the relevant administration credentials. There are three important aspects to consider about the installation and performance of Panda Adaptive Defense 360 as a security solution. First, the agent can coexist with other security solutions, although we can also choose to automatically uninstall any third-party protection found. Second, the amount of bandwidth consumed after the first installation is just a few kilobytes per day. To optimize bandwidth usage, designate at least one cache computer per network segment. And third, the impact of the agent and protection on computer performance is negligible, as bandwidth usage is optimized through the use of a cache that stores the classification of each program or library loaded on the system. Filters and Computer Tree Ether provides two computer views. First, by filters. This view organizes the computers by their operating system, their software, etc., or by any custom filter we want to define with specific rules regarding settings, protection status, hardware, software, etc. These filters provide the flexibility we need to manage hundreds or thousands of computers. Second, by organizational tree. This can be a custom tree, the company's active directory tree, or a combination of the two. Hardware, software, and change log. We can click on any of the computers displayed to access detailed information about them. In addition to status information, we also have software and hardware information for each computer. This information allows administrators to save time and optimize security across the organization. Applied system patches. If we click on the software tab for a particular computer, we can see the Microsoft patches installed. This information is very useful to find out the security status of a PC or to manage multiple PCs as we can create filters that show those computers that have certain patches applied and those who don't. This is really useful in critical situations, such as those caused by WannaCry or Petya. General settings. The configuration options on the settings tab are very flexible and granular, and configuration profiles can be reused for similar computers. This is a great advantage. If we go to per computer settings, we can configure the protection updates or the self protection feature. Under network settings, we can configure the proxy and language options. The Panda proxy allows us to connect isolated computers to the Internet 
and it channels all PAN data to Defense 360 communications, even those directed at the Collective Intelligence Platform. This section also contains the Cache and Discovery tabs, which we have covered earlier. Under My Alerts, we can configure the alerts sent by the platform per user. We can set the recipients of the email alerts sent whenever malware is detected or when a program is blocked or when an unprotected computer is found. These are computers whose protection is disabled, don't have a license, etc. The email alerts allows us to stay up to date on the most critical events affecting the company's security and productivity without having to access the console. Now let's have a look at the rest of the screen. The security section provides different security features depending on the products we have purchased. For example, Workstations and Servers allows us to configure the protection of Windows, Linux and Mac OS laptops, desktops and servers. Linux and Mac OS users have real-time protection and URL filtering. Also, we can configure the options and operating mode of the advanced protection. Finally, we have the Android Devices section. Here we can configure the protection of smartphones and tablets with Android 4.0 or later. This screen provides different antivirus and anti-theft protection settings, such as geolocation, remote wipe, remote lock, etc. Watch our next video to learn more about Panda Adaptive Defense 360 on Ether or contact us for further information.